Yeah. Offense, defense, yeah. pitching, you guys put it all together. It was, it was, yeah, it was a really good game. Um, you know, I think Hosey uh, had one of his better games. You know, he's, he's, he's thrown some pretty impressive ones along the way, but when you think about just command and... Uh, and, and being able to put guys away, the strikeouts, I think he got stronger. Yeah, he didn't want to come out of the game after seven, but with the long half inning and the and the score getting spread out a little bit, and we went ahead and got him out. Um, yeah, it was, you know, we, we made plays. A lot of guys contributed with the bats, and, um, you know, it was about as good as you can draw it up. Yeah, so put ourselves in a position tomorrow to come out and try to, you know, finish the sweep and... And continue the start of a good homestand. How did you see Jose establishing his fastball and work off of that? Uh, you know, I, I think he's just learned how to use it a little bit better, especially when he's got the feel. Um, you, you can tell when he tries to get a little more run on it, you know, just watching the gun and watching the swings and watching the catcher. Uh, but then when he wanted to hump up, he had a little bit in the tank, too. He saw some 95s and a 96 along the way, too. Um, breaking ball was better, I think, than we've seen it in the last two or three starts. I thought he had it working really well. Didn't need his change up all that much. Um, but he had the, you know, he just had the command of those couple pitches, and it was enough for him to get through seven innings rather cleanly. Another two home run game, a two triple. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think you take odds on Garber having two triples before he hit a homer. But um, uh, yeah, you know, we hit the ball well. We had some loud outs um, that got to the track. Um, you know, Rosie, you know, to be able to take that lefty out the other way I, th I thought that was a really really good at bat laid off some tough pitches uh, you know our first three rbis were from our two left-handed hitters which is a good sign that they're staying in on that guy and um but you know mish had a really good game adrianza who hasn't had a chance to play a lot you know he had a big game so right on down the line you said rosario laid off some tough pitches there how much of this rosario's play this one kind of helped him here uh, uh, well we talked about it you know he's he's had a nice run here for you know, it seems to be stressed out over a significant amount of time. So I, it's just something, you know, a player getting affirmed for trying to make an adjustment. And, uh, you know, we know he still gets a little crazy from time to time. I, I think that last swing when he popped up, um, everybody knows he's trying to hit a homer. I, I think he's going to learn how to try to hit a homer more effectively. But, uh, uh, yeah, he... Uh, you know, that first pitch curveball from Pelfrey, you know, he was ready for that. So he, he I, I just know he feels good about his game and his swing and the fact that he's been able to let the ball travel and he's letting those hands work. Buck's doing okay, just giving him some rest. You know, he had a little bit of a funny swing tonight and when his hand slipped off and uh, I don't, we're hoping it's nothing, but I, given the score, I, I wanted to get him out of there before, uh, you know, anything further would happen in that game. We'll we'll, uh, we'll check him out in the morning and see where he's at. What did, what did it kind of bother him with another swing? You know, he, you know, when your hand slips off the bat like that, it just he felt a little something and, you know, got in and got it checked out. Uh, the guys are hoping they're optimistic that we don't find anything, but he's probably going to get checked out in the morning.